at this place in history. We're in scenic Bennington at the Bennington Museum. I'm with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. And what brings us to the Bennington Museum, Steve? Well, this is one of my favorite museums in the whole state of Vermont. And, you know, this town anchors Vermont history. It was one of the first towns chartered in the state. And, and the, the rich uh, stories for everything that we consider Vermont really started here. So we're going to go inside and learn some more about that. So can you give us a little overview of the history of this museum? Sure. Um, Bennington Museum began in 1852, so it's one of Vermont's ancient institutions um, and was founded as the Bennington Historical Association. Um, so from the beginning we were about history and we were especially about the Revolutionary War history of Bennington. Um, we have been pushing it uh, very much in the, in the modern and contemporary direction recently and I think it might be not outrageous to compare it to a Florence of the Arts. It's this little town where arts flourished in the 20th century and especially around Bennington College but Bennington more broadly. This was an amazing center for the arts in the 1960s and 70s. So I think a lot of people may associate the word Bennington with pottery. Is that represented here? Oh yes, totally. And, and um, the museum actually has very deep collections in, in two areas, folk art and actually Vermont decorative arts and Bennington pottery, what we call Bennington pottery, which is 19th century salt glaze stone where um, kind of bridges both categories. You know, it's a utilitarian functional art, but it's often decorated in lavish style, hand painted, and it's over the top folk art, and we have a deep, broad, wonderful collection of that. It's a funny museum in that it's a big, small museum, and when I give tours to people and I go through the whole museum at once, it dawns on me how big it is. We have about 40,000 objects of art history, and we have also been embracing the notion of innovation, which is what we, th we think brings together art and history, that, that this museum is about two things. It's very much about the locale. It's about Bennington and this broader region and the arts of Vermont. Um, but it's, it, it, it's about history and art and what pulls them together is this notion of innovation, the innovation of Vermont and the innovation of the region. So it's a, it's, it's a big museum, Robert. There's a lot of items here and this is always a really hard question yep. to ask a museum director, but you know, is there a, fav a favorite object or a favorite installation that you have? Um, the, you know, there is. And can I cheat and choose two objects? Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so it's by intention that we're standing in the, the Gilded Age, Verm Age Vermont Gallery. Um, one of the favorite objects for me is the Great Portrait of Mayside and Palmer by Frederick McManus. You know it well. Um, it's an amazing painting. He's really known as a sculptor, um, so we're surprised that he was so good as a painter. Fabulous painting painted in Monet's garden in Giverny of, a, of an American woman painter who flourished in this area. But it was finished in Bennington, um, and that's the kind of the centerpiece of the gallery. But the other object, which is maybe my favorite object in the museum, if you can choose one, um, a, a not well-guarded secret because a lot of people have heard that, is Snow's patent gov uh, water wheel governor, which is a little patent model. Um, when I came here, it was tucked away on a bottom shelf in the, um, in the church gallery. And you've probably had the same experience that there are things that you latch on and you pull out of obscurity and shine a, shine a spotlight on them. Um, I love that object. And you, you put the two of them together in the same gallery. And that's what this gallery is about. It's this, this idea of putting together art and history, and in particular, what we think of as fine art. You know, it's a loaded term. Um, paintings and sculptures, and presenting them on the same level with patent models and a motor car. And um, in some ways, we stumbled on this, this way of putting together art and history, but we love it, and we're going to run with it. And when can people come visit? Uh, they can come, well, if they come in the summer, we're open seven days a week. Um, in the winter, it's six days a week. We're closed on Wednesdays at this place in history in Bennington.